Hey everybody, hope you are doing well. For this ZZ Top track, we're going back to the very first ZZ Top album, and we're going to listen to the song Going Down to Mexico. Billy Gibbons developed that guitar tone really early on in the band's career. And, um, you know, the fact that the guitar has a name, Pearly Gates, just lends to the legend of the actual tone. Then you hear the stories about, you know, bands asking or guitar players asking how Billy got that sound or how he got his tone and him not really being willing to share the secrets, especially in his younger days, you know, around the uh, on the Fandango album and, and the Eliminator album and so on and so forth, to the point where, you know, Mark Knopfler credits the attempt at trying to get the Billy Gibbons song tone um, or guitar tone as his reason for discovering the tone that would eventually be con- considered the money for nothing tone. And, and you understand the reverence with which so many guitar players had for Billy Gibbons' sound. On this particular track, Frank Beard's drumming is extraordinary. It really is. If you pay attention to it, I know we all, you know, have a tendency to focus on Billy Gibbons' amazing guitar tone, right? I mean, it is sort of the the essence of the band is is is, you know, Billy Gibbons and his guitar tone. 
but Frank Beard on this does such a wonderful job shifting tempos and shifting grooves uh, between what he's doing in the verses and what he's doing in the in the uh, during the guitar solos. It's really pretty incredible, and I, if I, I urge you to go back and listen to the song again, but try to pay particular attention to what Frank Beard's drumming is doing because it's really smooth, really smooth timing and tempo change. It's just uh, excellent, excellent, excellent. With that said, thanks for listening. Please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, just know that I really appreciate you and I wish you well. Okay, take care.